Hello, I'm at the Millennium Dome in Greenwich, now the O2 Arena, and I was lucky enough to interview the architect of it, Mike Davies of Roger Sterk Harbour, for my book Iconic Hall. And he told me the tortured story of its development. Like, for example, this was an old gas works on this site beforehand, and the ground was so poisoned with all the chemicals that they had to remove metres of topsoil uh, to make it vaguely habitable. Um, he also said that this was, because it's a very low-lying bit of East London, that there really wasn't anything higher than 200 metres between here and Siberia. So it's very, very cold, a very bleak bit of East London. Um, so it was quite an unpromising site, but they did something wonderful. You know, this is a suspended tent with, um, you've got 12 masts, it's 365 metres in diameter, it's got 24 scallops, all these brilliant symbols of time, which is very appropriate for the millennium and for Greenwich. Um, and the material that was used to cover it was originally going to be covered in PVC, of all things, but it ended up being covered with this stuff called PTFE, which is incredibly durable. And until that big storm last year, which ripped a bit of it open, um, it has sort of lasted really well. And they patched it up pretty well too, and very quickly. So this is a brilliant and enduring icon of the millennium, which at the time, I remember everyone was a bit kind of cross about and a bit, you know, everyone sort of took the mick. And now we look back on as this amazing period of optimism um, and excitement about the future, which we've really lost since.